Ben Uri's story is a story of the time that it was founded, of the early 20th century, but it's also a story for today in that forced migration, mass movement of people, these are the things that are very pressing issues for today. Ben Uri was founded in 1915 essentially as a society to assist Jewish artists, Jewish artisans who are struggling for work, struggling for recognition. What Ben Uri provided was a place for these artists to come together, a place where they could show their art, share ideas, meet each other, and that was quite transformative. The works in the auction are from Ben Uri's early years, and part of the reason why they're being sold is to fund acquisitions for the future. Whilst Ben Uri's roots are in the Jewish community, in recent years it's become a museum about the wider immigrant experience. It's one of the most important issues of our time and they are moving the museum's collecting focus, their research focus, towards recording that. What Ben Uri provided was a platform for Bomberg, for Gertler, for these artists who'd come to London to show and to share their work. David Bomberg is a really classic example of the kind of artist who would have been helped by Ben Uri in its early days. This is a guy who was born really, really poor. He grew up in the East End of London. And it was his talent that kind of gave him an opportunity to escape his surroundings and then forge a successful career. In the years before the First World War, Bomberg was part of an artistic avant-garde who making really radical, really challenging work. And then a work that kind of celebrated the machine age. A lot of these avant-garde artists and writers took part in the First World War. They were in the trenches. They saw how mechanised warfare would destroy bodies, would destroy lives. And so they came back really changed men. And actually, when you look at the painting at the window, included in the collection from the Ben Uri Gallery, it's a reworking of a painting that he made pre-war of his sister looking out of the window in their house in the East End of London. And he changes this painting. It becomes more claustrophobic, more contained. The idea that his sister's looking out to a bleak future rather than sort of happily daydreaming about what may be. The studio is a painting that really clearly indicates how Bomberg's feeling when he comes back from the war. He has this kind of longing to escape his surroundings. He was given the opportunity to travel to Palestine. So for him, this was a life-changing experience. Uh, he'd never experienced such heat and colour and light and space and this really really affects his his painting and the tight claustrophobic sense of his paintings just completely disappears and his controlled gestures become much more expansive much more open. Mark Gertler was a contemporary of Bombos and his story in many ways follows the same path. He came from an incredibly poor background and it was really just his talent that allowed him to escape that background and become a student at the Slade and then become a professional artist. Ben Ori has a special place for me. I remember going to shows there for decades, actually. It's amazing how, over these many, many years, it's kept its place as a unique British institution whilst constantly evolving. We're delighted at Sotheby's to be able to help Ben Ori really put this plan for its evolution into place through the sale. And it's lovely to be doing this for Ben Ori, which is on our doorstep here in London. This is an amazing opportunity for collectors. And also by participating in the sale, you're helping a really wonderful museum and gallery to continue its exhibition program and research program into an issue that's really fundamental for today's society. <laughs>